in 2017 session, you stated that within four years, all of this would be over. Please define all of this. What we have just discussed, the, <laughs> the pathways, the, the rebalancing of the planetary consciousness, the, uh, the uh, or changes that are going to occur to the crust, the displacements that will occur as a result of the increased rotations of the planetary consciousness. All of this is scheduled to occur within the next two years. It was four years then, it is two years now. Mm -hmm. And what is the current status of the energies on this planet? The energies of this planet, the, the negative pathway is trying desperately to maintain their energetic foothold and there has been a, a moderate extension to attempt to assist these consciousnesses to choose the right path. However, the delay is minor. It is not a very long delay. It has been a minor delay in the time reference of this planet. And uh, everything is still on schedule to occur as it is deemed to occur. Those who are fighting, those who um, refuse to turn into the light and back into unity with all that is will be recycled and realigned and they will come out far better off than they ha are at the moment because the negative path is a, is a dead end. Uh, polarity has run its course and it has been deemed a poor experiment. It requires too much maintenance and investment and has pulled this galaxy out of balance. Next question. What is the most probable time frame for this event or shift we are all waiting for? Let's continue to ask the same question <laughs> in different ways. Between 2021 and 2022 is the forecast for this to occur within this timeline. Now, other timelines obviously are running different time measurements and for them it is different in this construct it is 2021-2022. Next question. Okay. Todd recently published an article related to the shift and the earth changes associated with it that had previously been withheld. Why do you want it published now? We are approaching the juncture. There are uh, negative entities that are attempting to cause fear from the upcoming scenario, and they are broadcasting information of doom scenarios to create fear within consciousness so that consciousness will embrace the fear and that they can maintain their energetic foothold. This is the incorrect direction. We are attempting to provide factual information so that fear is dissolved and acceptance of what is coming ameliorates the fear component so that this cannot be a forceful transition, but a, an easier transition. The more fear and negative polarity that is on the planet, the greater the effects of the shift uh, through the material as far as crustal displacements and the volcanic activities and, and that thing. So it's the more that we can remove the fear and the negative polarity, the lessen the effects of what is about to occur. Very good. Please take Todd to these changes and allow him to see all perspectives, those who move forward, both incarnated and not, and those who remain in the current construct. This is an unclear statement. Wait, we query the consciousness. He does not want individual perspective, we were wondering. Okay. He wants an overall perspective of the separating constructs. Uh, the question is incorrect is in that there are three right. constructs that are going to occur. Yeah. And we will start with the lowest energetic construct. There is more, more effects in this construct. There are uh, more consciousness is missing from the construct in this one than 
in the ascending construct, uh, the damage will be uh, more significant. And as a result, the coming together of the consciousnesses will be intensified. And this is the purpose of this, that the, the planetary calamity will help to alleviate the self-interest and self-aggrandizement that exists on the planet. Now people will come together as they always do in these types of calamities. It is come together as a collective and survive or try to remain isolated and separate and perish. And this is the lesson that is going to be learned in this remaining construct. This is what is required for these lower energetic consciousnesses to understand and move forward towards unity. The second construct would be the uh, ascending construct of the ascending collective who are embracing unity. These are the ones that are listening to these messages, that are seeking these messages, that are seeking to help others through service to others already at this point and these are going to be the ascending construct there will be some some uh, earth changes they will be felt it will be understood this is required because of the consciousness this is it will be remaining there has to be an explanation why they are not in this construct uh, consciousness is engaged in a collective cooperative construct and when the constructs diverge there must be an explanation why they are no longer here. If you are looking for uh, someone within your re family or within your extended friendship network and they are in the remaining construct you will no longer find them and the reasons for this will be individualized whether they appeared to have perished in a calamity or they just are no longer accessible due to the, the, the breakdown of the communication networks is uh, going to depend on individual circumstance. The ascending construct will be less impacted than the remaining construct. It will still be impacted. However, the lessons required for unity have already been embraced and therefore a extreme calamity will not be required as this ascending construct moves forward in unity and lays down its weapons of destruction and its intent to impart impose its will upon other consciousness it will be uh, uh, looking at the two there is uh, this he's looking at the two right now and he sees a division and on the remaining construct it is much darker and he's looking at the ascending construct and it is visually lighter because of the energetics that exist within it and it will all be felt by everyone that is in this construct they will feel the upliftment they will feel the dissolution of the need to impart their will upon others whether that is financially, uh, physically, emotionally, or physically. The third construct is the etheric construct where entities will end their incarnation. It will be instantaneous. Uh, there is no fear of uh, pain associated with the body or uh, fear of death. It will be instantaneous and they will continue in the etheric with no knowledge that their embodiment has ceased at first because they will be put into a construct to allow the transition peacefully and gently and then they will understand that they have reached the planetary collectives and no longer need to embody and they will embrace the etheric it will be a very uh, beautiful and wonderful experience for these consciousnesses and this is why we say there is no, no fear and there should be no fear of the process. Okay. Next question. 
And so, Auntie, I think you explained it. So explain what, uh, what these changes are and what will cause them. Maybe what will cause them. As the planetary consciousness rebalances its rotation, the, in Todd's first book is the discussion of imbalanced consciousness and what causes that, the polarization of the energetic particulate that uh, are termed photons. As this ameliorates and r resolves itself, the uh, sphere of consciousness is going to balance and increase in rotation and expand. This does not translate literally to an increase in rotations of the Earth. This will occur on a small scale. The, the impression of time speeding up is uh, part of what is going to occur. A, a day will no longer be uh, on your watch 24 hours. It will be something less. And this will just be a normal occurrence. Everyone will readjust. The planetary effects are a result of the expansion and acceleration of the conscious planetary consciousness. And since the planet is a manifestation of this consciousness, as the consciousness changes, this planetary material sphere within it must also change. These are the changes that are coming. And this is why they are coming. They are coming as a result of the energies that are changing this planetary consciousness. Next question. Okay.